Hi there, where do you be? <laughs> uh, listening to your video there, I've just listened to the other video, the men and women video, the original one, and you responded with this video, so I'd like to congratulate you with excellence there of your, of your video. Uh, the, uh, I mean, it is an excellent video, you spoke very well, um, I understood most of it. You said something at the end, uh, like uh, you don't want to have to, be a, have to conform to what a stereotypical man uh, is supposed to be, and that is a huge point. Uh, and uh, you also mentioned a, a great point of, like, you know, through the 90s and stuff, that you know that that men uh, are more comfortable be, being like women now, you know, or at least that they are going. There's a lot of men going to be uh, more like females now, because that was the problem with males was that they weren't allowed um, express or show any sign of of femininity, you know, and. Uh, you know, because then they would be termed homosexual, uh, which is nuts, really. Uh, but I just want to say your your points on uh, that you don't like the androgyny kind of end of things. I, I, okay, I, you'll have to explain that to me a bit more, because I don't want to presume how you think on that in, in, in total. Like, you'll have to do another video on that, if you wouldn't mind, please. Uh, because uh, it, I don't look androgynous now, because I've got hair on my face. Okay, but I didn't have to shave. I didn't have any hair on my face at all till I was 26, um, and you know, so it's a relatively new thing for me to have to go and buy razors. Uh, <laughs> so um, it's very expensive too, I have to say. Um, but anyway, um, you know, they're, they're f the fact is that there are a lot of androgynous people in the world that look androgynous, that they don't look male or female. Now, why don't they look male or female? multiple reasons, but one of the reasons that could be is because they're intersexed, meaning that they weren't born with um, the, the right amount of, of hormones for their, uh, for their classified sex by the medical institutions, by the doctors when they were born. Uh, either it's a hormonal thing or it could be a genetic thing, and obviously I can speak more about the genetic thing because I am a genetically you could call genetic mutation I wouldn't call myself a genetic defect uh, although many doctors would and um, I was born with XXY chromosomes and um, there are many things about me that are more on the feminine side if we're continuing on in this silly nonsensical uh, society understanding that there actually is feminine uh, characteristic and masculine characteristic. As you said, and as I say, we're individuals, you know, we're people. And I'd like to get to a point in, in the future where we're actually describing individuals in a, in a whole, blanketing all of them as people, not blanketing them as, as, as males and females, and then the, the defects, or the people with DSD, as people in the medical institution would like to, they, they're changing the word intersex now into DSD, which is, I think, def function, dysfunctional sexual disorder, something all termed wrong, if, if, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you understand hypnosis or anything like that where you're uh, programming the brain, you know, uh, you know, with words and stuff, well obviously these words are absolutely unhelpful, you know, <laughs> they, they, they make matters worse. What also makes matters worse is for, for anybody, I'm not getting personal with you here too, too much, or, you know, I'm definitely not attacking you and I'm not get, getting at you, I don't want to get at you, but I want to say to you that people like yourself that say that you're uncomfortable, unhappy, don't like the androgynous end of things, uh, that's fine, you don't have to like it, just like I don't like bananas, but other people eat bananas, you know, most of you eat bananas actually, uh, you know, probably, be, probably, we don't know, you know, the, the religious people would argue that, that we've evolved from monkeys, you know, uh, they, they would say that's ridiculous. But if we have evolved from monkeys, um, that would probably be the reason why we love bananas. Uh, now, that means that maybe, because I don't like bananas, that maybe I wasn't born on this planet. <laughs> you know, uh, and I want to just make a few points. They're points which are basically theories and opinions, and they're not medical fact yet, I hope so, in the future. Uh, what is my point? Uh, whoops! <laughs> Brain gone! Um, uh, no, I forgot the point. Oh well, that's what happens when you're hormonally imbalanced. 
uh, not all the time, but especially for me, hormonally imbalanced, my memory is pretty crap. Uh, but you know, one thing that's just coming to my mind now is that you're Scottish, I'm Irish, and the, the other person is um, English. So that's nice, isn't it? To have, uh, now we need somebody from Wales and Northern Ireland so that we can have the whole British Isles, even though the Irish would go, no, we're not. Uh, you know, but uh, you know, it'd be nice to have everybody from from the so-called British Isles, like Britain and Ireland, um, uh, all together talking about this. Because I feel that those nations are the ones that are extremely screwed in the head, you know, um, on these subjects because of the religious um, oppression and the religious oppression against women. Like, and even the the Bible to this day is still male. Uh, it's absolutely male orientated there's really feck all they mention of, the, of women in it and stuff like that so anyway, gotta go now yeah, the girlfriend is here she's been quiet, ciao ciao